There is one miracle that nobody ever talks about in the Bible, and it's the fact that Jesus had 12 friends in his 30s. <laughs> I forget where I heard that joke, but man, that's so funny. It's been on my mind lately. Hey, so I'm back. After two weeks of not posting any content, here I am. Where was I? Well, I was catching up with some old friends. Additionally, I had a contract slash studio living arrangement set up, which fell through, and she is now involved in a lawsuit with somebody that was helping her out. It's really complicated and wild, but um, I've been busy trying to find my place to live here in the States. So uh, two week break, hung out with some friends. And if you've been in the Patreon, though, you have had good updates on what God has been talking to me about when it comes to cryptocurrency, as well as just some nuggets of wisdom for life. And in this video today, I'm going to share just about all of those with you. So this is my quick plug for the Patreon. You get to watch me trade uh, a $3,500 portfolio throughout this bull market. You get to um, basically get the words of knowledge and prophetic insights pretty timely. As soon as I get something, I just type it up and put it up there. You don't have to wait and watch a long video. It's pretty efficient, it's effective, and it's only two bucks. So that's enough of the plug on that one. Quick note for those of you who are in the Patreon, I moved the chain link stop loss up. So if the position does get closed, that's the 30% uh, win on that trade. Um, what I want to do right now, though, is I want to start kind of at the bottom here and just work my way up timely to share with you guys some of the things that God has been sharing with me in my own life. And it's probably going to start with this XRP dream. I'm just going to read basically what had happened from the screen here. Let's see if I can change uh, Logi. That's not it. That's me again. That's not it. You know what? Okay, here we go. I'm just going to read from the screen here. So I just added to the XRP position. We are very likely to have some great buying opportunities in the days to come. So this was two weeks ago. Uh, and I'm about to share a dream that I had. I will be slowly deploying the cash position. Okay, let's skip ahead here. I've not been shown prophetically much in my time of waiting on God over the last week about crypto. However, one night I did have a dream, the details of which I don't recall super clearly, but in this dream I know that Trump was there and somehow he represented a timeline. I was shown in the dream a narrative of the dollar over this timeline, furthering weakening, further weakening, collapsing, and reaching its end or expiration in the years to come. Maybe, perhaps, I don't know, 10 years out, just an estimation or an impression of a timeline to come having to do with Trump somehow. Um, so I was told or heard in the dream that it's time to start buying XRP for the long run in replacement of the dollar when it collapses. Something to that extent is what I had seen and heard in the stream. The dream carried with it a sense of this transition happening over the next many years to come, so not imminent, but down the road. The dream was simple and a confirmation and a further instruction to begin to buy and to continue to buy XRP for the long run. There was not a sense of urgency, rather just shown that XRP will be the next important player in the world of finances down the road after the days of the dollar. Many of us may know this already, but I personally have not had a personal confirmation of this in prayer for a long time, so this was a refreshing dream to have. Whew. Time for the disclaimers. Hey, I'm just a dude on YouTube sharing his dreams. Nothing that I say is financial advice, okay? That being said, um, this was a great refreshing reminder of something that God had told me in previous seasons earlier in life, and it's just a good little update there. So time to slowly accumulate. What does that mean? Hey. What I'm doing is every time I've got 10 or 50, you know, 50 bucks or something like that, put a little bit into XRP, throw it on the Ledger Nano or the Trezor or the Exodus wallet and sit it, set it, forget it. Next up we have, by the way, if any of this is good to you, like, subscribe and share all that wonderful stuff. This was a portfolio update. I'll skip the details. If uh, you want to know what they were, you can check it out in the Patreon. But what I said here is that, as I mentioned in previous posts, it's likely that we will see con Bitcoin continue this shorter term correction for perhaps a week or a couple weeks ahead. And we are in this hang tight window of time. When I was asking God if Bitcoin is going to have some hang time for alts to do well. Uh, and by the way, this is back on January 24th that I posted this. You know, if Bitcoin's going to have some hang time, uh, what I heard in response is to hang tight. So this means to maintain a position of readiness. And ever since I received that word, crypto basically entered into a correction. Now it's stabilized a little bit. It's come out a little bit. Um, and then I went on to say that these upcoming weeks will probably provide some of the best final buying opportunities before this full bull run ensues. 
So I'm slowly dripping the cash position of the portfolio. And that's enough of that. Let's go on to the next post here. So that was just an update post that I'm going to be with friends. So here we go. This was four days ago that I posted this in the Patreon. Hey everyone, as previously mentioned, I'm traveling and catching up with friends and I'm now back and will continue to do some updates in the following days. For now, here is a nugget that I heard in prayer not too long ago. And the Lord said to me this, I'll share the context after. He goes, there's grace to run your race. Now this was in the context of me coming out of a pretty big life change, a few different big life changes happening all at once. And it's taking my heart before God, you know, because I love him, I care about him and wanting to hear his input and stuff like that. And so he said to me, there's grace to run your race. So we're instructed to run our race and God's grace is there so that you can run effectively. Um, and it's there for you when you make mistakes. You know, grace is a gift that you do not deserve. Mercy is God withholding a punishment that you do deserve. It's really important to understand grace and mercy. Grace is God giving us a gift that we don't deserve. Mercy is God withholding a judgment, a punishment that we do deserve. So there's grace to run your race. <clears throat> um, so this is another crypto word. Four days ago, I posted this in the Patreon while taking a nap literally just now. And this was like a nine o'clock PM nap. Um, I should just go to bed at nine, but whatever. While taking a nap. Also, there was a time difference. I traveled back. And so uh, I went into a short daydream while taking this nap. And in this daydream, I was editing an Excel spreadsheet with all of my cryptocurrency positions on it. Similarly to what I do in the portfolio that I'm trading in the Patreon here. So I'm editing my own personal positions and I heard this word as I'm editing it. You've got great entries, dude. It was something like that. You've got great entries, dude. As I often say, I am just a dude sharing his walk with Christ. So be encouraged that most crypto positions purchased over the last year, year and a half during the bear market. And even recently in these last few weeks, these are great entries. So that was like a confirmation, a word of just a word of encouragement. This is also very encouraging because it means that the real run hasn't quite started yet either, right? We're referring to the price point as the entries right now, which we're still pretty close to in most positions. I don't know what the short term contains. We may well see some more volatility and correction ahead of us, but this was a word, word of encouragement that the current positions that I have are great entries, dude. Uh, lastly, I put here... Now, this is not a prophetic thing. This is just more of a cryptocurrency update with Chainlink. It's pretty fun because Chainlink's been doing really well this last week or two. So this is what I said. Not financial advice. Chainlink is currently at such and such a price. It is up this percentage from our DCA entry. If Link falls from the current price and hits the stop loss, I'm okay to close it out and just to have more cash in the portfolio to buy the dip. Chainlink is fundamentally a very strong cryptocurrency to own. And here's why because it's the leading Oracle for cryptocurrency. And Oracle basically provides real world data and information from web 2.0, so the HTTPS protocol that we use. It takes that data and basically transfers it to web 3.0 so that apps and dApps can, can use it. That's a very oversimplification, but it's, it's almost like a bridge from one world into the other, from the old internet into web 3.0. Huge simplification there. Feel free to type up a book in the comments if you wanna correct me on that. Um, also, when the SEC released a dozen lawsuits over a year ago, many to, to almost all the major leading cryptocurrency projects, Chainlink was not one of them. So infer from that whatever you will. For me, it's a long-term bullish conviction play. You can do with it whatever you want. Also, as I'm saying this, I got reminded of something. Um, somebody commented, by the way, I love comments. I welcome all types of comments. You can roast me in the comments. You can make fun of me in the comments. I sleep so great at night because... I'm free. You know, growing up, I used to care so much what people thought about me. I was desperate for attention, desperate for fitting in and all that stuff. And that was one of the first things that God just removed from me. I think it's Galatians 1 verse 10 or something like that. Like, am I seeking the approval of man or am I seeking God's approval? If I care what people think about me, I am not a servant of God. That's almost verbatim. That's the the dude's translation here of what that verse says. So, you can say whatever you want in the comments. All that's to say, though, is that somebody did post something and they're like, you were way off about Terra Luna Classic. You were way off about the Lung Prophecy. And I'm like, all right, <laughs> you just wait and see, because personally, I am loading up my bags on Lung. I'm I'm buying as much Lung as I can, and I don't care if I have to wait till Kingdom Come 
Um, I know what God has told me about that project. And so there's that. Uh, at the end of the day, I am not your guru. I am not the mediator between you and God. <laughs> Jesus is that for you. I'm just sharing my walk with Christ. I'm hoping that it benefits, blesses, and encourages some of you guys. I am just an ordinary dude who struggles with sin, who has this flesh that he's wrestling with and trying to bear fruit. You know, I'm just sharing my walk with Christ and uh, experiencing his grace in my life, but also experiencing his leading and trying to share with people my own journey along the way. And so if you're watching this even now to the end here, thank you for being a follower of this channel, a subscriber, and I hope that I can continue to, uh, to bless and to serve. I'm going to pray us out and that'll be the video. Jehovah, thank you that we don't have to worry. Um, yeah, that you've got this, like your God, <laughs> the enemy has been defeated. Light has Dark has no power over light, and you've called us to be a city on a hill. I pray that we would shine bright. I pray, God, that we would not hold on to our mistakes and regrets, that we would not condemn ourselves, because you don't condemn us. You forgive us. I thank you, God, that when you know, that lady was caught in adultery, you were not there holding a rock. You were the first one there to get on your knees and extend a helping hand to her. And so I just thank you that that's the disposition of your heart, that you are not here to judge. For God did not send his world, for God so loved the world that he sent his son into the world <laughs> I'm butchering this. John 3.16, we all know this verse, but John 3.17 is very important. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but in order to save the world through him. So Lord, I just thank you that that is your attitude to save us, to help us, to grow us, and to improve us. And so I pray that we would just surrender, that we would be malleable clay, not brittle clay, and that we would uh, just see your kingdom advance here on the internet, in our lives, in social media, in everything that we do. Amen and amen.